Hi friends! Today we are going to do the fast Fibonacci kata and that's a really interesting kata. Uh, we will have to use one like at, at least one of the optimization techniques like uh, memoization or tail call optimization uh, to solve this kata. Uh, this like when I was reading the task uh, the, the author of the kata suggested using the tail call optimization. So I guess we will be doing that, okay? So that's, that's going to be like really interesting. Uh, the second interesting thing about this kata that it's like it's already pre-written for us. We have a solution ready and let's check out how, how this how this would uh, work out. Let's try to run some examples with whatever we have here. Uh, by the way, this is, this is like legit uh, Fibonacci, Fibonacci like uh, function. It doesn't work because it is not optimized, and uh, that this specific uh, this specific syntax is like really really uh, bad at. Uh, uh, memory management it gets it, it actually uh, overflows the stack or uh, in code wars what it does it takes longer than 12 seconds and that's why it, it will be terminated okay so as always let's start with the tests uh, this is like a special case uh, then I am not deleting immediately everything and the reason for that because I will be needing these numbers, right? So I don't want to like try to memorize them. I will just copy and paste them later when I have my tests written. So I'm starting with uh, importing expect from the require library. Oh, sorry, from the chai library using the require uh, statement. I'm doing that. I'm not using. I'm not using something like that, uh, like this syntax. That I, I would probably be using something like that in real life applications, but uh, we cannot use that because it's not being transpiled by uh, by Babel, and since it's not. Uh, we cannot use the import statement. Import statements are not part of the ES uh, of this ESX supported uh, by Code Wars. All right, so we we get the expect statement. Let's uh, let's do the describe uh, fib because that will be the name of our function, and the callback is going to be. The callback is going to have our it statements. Okay, it should work that n equals 100. And oh, I missed quote mark. And we are expecting the fib with uh, 100 to be equal to this number, right? So I'm, I'm copy and pasting this number. Don't want to like memorize it. So I'm just using that. The second uh, test will be it should work that n equal to nine two four nine, and this time we expect the fib 249 to be equal to this guy, right? To this number. And yeah, that's that's our tests. Uh, we don't need those anymore. I have already used them. So this is these are our tests and 
they were pre-written for us. I just like to, to have my tests like uh, always organized in the same way, the same way. So that's why I'm always like rewriting them first. Uh, this time the tests themselves do not give us uh, a lot of insights into how uh, to solve this kata, but uh, we have to we have to do everything uh, in the solution section. Okay, so in the solution section, I am deleting everything. And before we begin, uh, you really have to read about the tail call optimization, right? Uh, if you don't do that, you you won't understand why is why what uh, why what I'm doing works and what was written before. Uh, was taking so so long right so in short uh, I can say that the tail call optimization happens then never the last the exactly last thing what happens uh, before the return statement is a function call and this function does not use any parameters like uh, in, in the inside the function body Okay, doesn't doesn't uh, rely on any values in there. So, what happens? The interpreter can optimize this code and reuse the stack frame, and then this happens. Uh, it it actually does not create a new stack frame for every single function call. It uses the same stack frame. Use it calls the same function just repl it replaces the stack frame with a new function call, okay? Uh, it can do that because this new call does not rely at all on whatever the whatever values we have inside this function body. Uh, to do that, when, whenever you read about the function body, uh, about the tail call optimization uh, functions, uh, you, you understand that uh, most of the time the syntax is going to be uh, like that. So I, I am uh, creating a va variable and this time my function signature is going to be quite different. So that's my function signature. Let me explain. The n is the actual Fibonacci number, right? So that's what this uh, 249 or 100 Fibonacci number will be. The index and the result uh, are used just for this uh, tail call optimization because we have to like store the results somewhere. We cannot store, store it in a closure. We have to store it as an argument to a function, okay? And the stop point will be, we will stop then the Fibonacci number will be zero. So that's very easy. If it's not zero, I am calling the function again, right? With some parameters. If it is zero, right? If the uh, n, if, if the n is falsy, and as we know, the only numeric value which is falsy is zero, so when it's falsy, I'm just returning the result. Okay. So what should go in here? First of all, we care about the previous Fibonacci number, right? So n minus one. That's not a. That's not a very big. Uh, that's no, nothing new. It's business as usual. The index actually becomes index plus the result, the previous result, and the new result becomes a previous previous index, right? And having this signature, it it should work. I'm removing my comment. So as as I told you, it's not like super easy to understand it if you don't read about it. Uh, it uh, it actually is derived in a way from uh, like using using just loops uh, to solve a Fibonacci sequence 
and then applying the same ideas uh, to this recursive process. Okay, and let me try to run the examples. Yep, looks all good. And let's try the official tests. That's all good too. Okay, so uh, good luck with that. I was like really, uh, it was really interesting for me to like learn about tailful optimizations. Uh, I am going to try to use them in like real life applications. So good luck and bye friends.